Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Vanilla Hoi 4 in which we're playing as Chile. Uh, in which we're trying to go down the communist route for this campaign. We'll see how good it is, how bad it is. I don't know, it might be fantastic. Um, but, welcome. Um, we have the Tribe of Light Allegiance DLC installed of course. Uh, but we got Movimento Nacional Socialista ramp up activities. Because eventually we're going to have a coup attempt. Uh, it looks like probably a bunch of fascists, but news reports have come in from the general director of the Carabineros de Chile, suggesting that action be taken against the rising pro-fascist sentiment in the general population, and that the recent increase in activities from Jorge Gonzalez von Marea's party, the Movement, Movimiento Nacional Socialista, will be investigated further. It is believed that they will may very well begin planning to overthrow our government, and as such we must stay vigilant. We can handle it. Uh, Nasitas gathering support, so that's not good. Um, but like I said, I want to go communist, so we're going to endorse the Constitution of 1925. So we go down to this small little communist path over here. Uh, I wanted to do other things, but I was I wanted to do a communist path next um, in South America. We'll see what happens, really. Hopefully we can do really well. In the 20s, we had a severe social and economic crisis that led to the loss of prestige for the old ruling class. And the rise of a government led by Arturo Alessandri. In 1924, he was ousted in a coup, but it was called back in 1925, out of which he used the presidency to draft a new constitution to replace the Constitution of 1833. We should endeavor to follow his guiding words as a founder, founding father of a new Chile. Suppress the Nasitas. Oh, the insurgency will be weakened. That's good. Uh, lowers the effect of near anarchic society. That'd be good too. Mm, let's go with this. Policies of Arturo Alessandri. The policies of Alessandri are many. And his final term is not even over yet. He has helped the nation immensely and so has the power to help it more. He is truly the father of the last incarnation of Chile. But what natural spirits do we have? Oh, hello. Um, we have the Mapuche conflict. Ever since the pacification of Araucania and the forceful integration of the land and its people into the Chilean state, the indigenous Mapuche have been displaced, disfavored, and dissatisfied. While there have been groups among them who have strived for cooperation and integration, there are also those who struggle to subvert the state in every way possible. Not bueno. Establish an anti fascist coalition. Lose 10% political power. Move the country one step closer to a peaceful communist revolution. Nice. And open up the investigations against Jorge Gonzalez von Marais. So the faster we can go to this thing, the better. So uh, I'd like to do that, but do we need political power at all? Should we save it for political power? Wow, Miguel Cruzaga to Cornal. You destroy your political power, basically. It's poor for online, Minister of Defense, North population, Oak face licker. Crudible population, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't like the lack of uh, political power, though. Oh, this would be good, too. Socialist, economic, econo economist, popular Latinian poet. 20% more political power. I miss her defense. Um, must be true. Currently, Pony's Democratic or Communist has completely the focus of vengeance pacification of Araucania. Which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. Interesting. Uh, you know what? I'm going to risk it. We're going to go and try to get this guy first. I like that plus 20% political power. We'll get more from this guy too. And suppress the Nasitas. Nasistas. The movement, Movimiento Nacional Socialista has been on the move as of late, and it's quite clear that they will try something in the near future. We must remain vigilant and crack down on any dissidents wherever it may appear. I'm getting more support, which is not good. Not bueno. And here we can always get the face liquor, but now we're good right now. Uh, the militarization of the Rhineland. I did leave it on a historical, so we'll see what happens. Ideology. Oh, but then this ideology drift defense. That's going to hurt our aims of trying to become more communist faster. So, ah, screw it. We'll just go with this anyways. Get both. Construct the Estadio, Estadio Nacional. Ooh, more political power too. I like that as well. Prop up Gustavo Ross. When he becomes president of Chile, he gains plus 75 political power, more stability, and gives him a trait popular among the people that grants more compliance, growth speed factor, ideology, drift defense, and 10% stability. In cooperation with the National Falange, more de democracy support. Adds Falange Nacional, more political power gain, ideology, drift, defense, resistance, huh? Huh. And we still have only two research slots, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, prop up this guy? No. Construct the Estadio Nacional. Alessandri's biggest efforts to restore the economy and trust of the people has been through public works, and his magnum opus is Estadio Nacional, a grandiose national stadium for the sports games, which is a great showcase of his ability to lead the nation. Republican Guard, huh? When the president election, happen, election happens in late uh, 38, October 38, his focus will automatically be completed. Oh. No? 
cooperation with the National Falange. The National Falange is a Christian Democratic Party that was founded in 1935, and it consists of mainly progressive and reformist Catholics. As a lot of their policies are, are very similar to our own, it should not be difficult to invite them into our government. Expand the Carabineros. Reverse consumer goods, get more stability, less an impact of nazistas insurgency. Propaganda and the Trabajo Acción Chilena and Radio Diffusión Santa Lucia. Ooh. Oh. Not good. Not bueno. Criticize liberal complacency. Less democracy. Lo lose stability. Lose me more stability. Um, we're going to go with this one next. Lowers effect of near anarchic society. Well, the Hacienda Inquilange system. I'm saying that wrong. The Hacienda Inquilange system of landlords and tenants stems from the old Roman and imperial Spanish ways of running a country, and are, as can be expected, highly outdated and oppressive. The current Chilean Hacienda stand out for their poor conditions of workers and being a backwards part of the economy due to practically utilizing serfdom to this day. The only way we can rid ourselves of this problem is land reform, which should be a main priority if we wish to restore our economy. Oh, communist school in Ethiopia, look at that. What do we want next? I guess this one, yeah. We do get more political power, which I do like. Uh, we do have a couple of different, different different divisions. 18 combat with. Horses are 18 combat with. This is a militia division. Oh, no, it's infantry and cavalry. This is something else. Uh, militia, not great. And this is even worse militia, so it's not great. Do we have any infantry that are just straight up infantry infantry? You know what? I'm going to convert all these, these militia divisions into the... Oh, at least in this, because my plan is this. I want um, to have a lot of divisions. Not necessarily strong, because eventually we will go to war with Argentina. And we're going to need that. Spread anti-fascist thought throughout the universities. Taking this decision practically nullifies any malices when the growing nazista influence on the university mission is completed. That sounds pretty good. Um... I guess prop of Gustavo Ross is Arturo Alessandri's foremost discipline or disciple, and his favorite to win is to win in the coming presidential election. Alessandri should therefore be sure to make this known to the public and attempt to build Ross up as a spiritual successor using vast quantities of propaganda and volunteers to the Republicans. Yeah, because you could use that political power. Our brothers in Spain are currently engaged in a struggle against the military which wishes to overthrow their democratic struggle or regime. Though it is maybe not necessarily that popular with thought in Chile to intervene, it should good showcase our strength and readiness to defend democracy. We got a lot of things here. I guess we'll criticize them too. Next. Oh, uh, what else do we have? The Republican Guard. As it currently stands, the Republic is in great peril and cl close to the verge of collapse. However, President Arturo Alessandri, since 1925, stabilized much of the situation and now the reliance on the secret militias redirecting funding meant to go to the army, thus preventing expansion of the regular forces. Like I said, the naval arms race, while there's no formal treaties preventing the expansion of the Brazilian, Chilean, or Argentinian navies, there's been an informal agreement or arrangement since the Great War that prevented it. If any of the nations in the region were to begin arming their fleets with new capital ships, our new arms race would be inevitable. Monroe Doctrine The U.S. has long promised to protect the Western Hemisphere from outside interference by colonial powers, meaning any incursion into our territory would likely mean the U.S. would come to our aid. However, if our politics no longer align with that of the U.S., we might find ourselves unprotected. Falange Nacional, the Christian political party, Falange Nacional, was a progressive and reformist that split from the Conservative Party in 1935, and they're more than willing to support current political uh, ideas and coalition. We'll do as much as we can there. I guess we'll prop them up too. And eventually, inflation controlled by the Banco Central de Chile. The Banco Central de Chile was founded by President Arturo Alessandri in 1925. We should ask or task them with controlling inflation to support Chile's long term economic development and prevent spiraling prices causing economic and political damage. Let's get this guy first up. Recall Pedro Darnell to active service. Recall Manuel Santiago Concho Pe Pedregal to active service. Huh. Oh boy. Oh, we lost our political part too. Well, I guess we'll do this one too. Growing nationalista influence in universities. Ooh. Yeah. Practically nullifies any malices. Well, I guess that's good to do. Anyone here we really like? Army drill, plus point three, plus point three, maximum map increase. Um, I would like to support Spain though. Oh, we got some five. Wow, five divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. Um, okay, well, there you go, I guess. Have fun! That's a lot of divisions we can send. Yeah, we're actually building up our cities pretty nice, of course, and again, it's already been a year, so what do you expect? Um, so we got that one, and then you can do public work projects versus this of Covenza. Creation of internal resource distribution company Covenza was a mistake, and we all know it. The one true way to solve our economic issues is to research our large scale exports, and to do that, we must liquidate the organization and reform it to better resemble their predecessor coach. I like the resource efficiency game. Add production. Adds this in every course state already providing one of the mineral resources. That's very strong. Do you get any more resources here at all? Political advisor cost goes down. Um, or would you rather modify the Chilean economy? More resources of efficiency gain. Trade relations. Take loans from foreign powers to improve the economy. Must dig deeper. Construction. Versus contract EFE. Train, armor. Honestly, the left side seems a little more uh, valuable. Ever since the great crash came from the U.S. closing the borders and extending their exports, our economy has been ruined and our people are scattered. To recover from this disaster as efficiently as possible, we should encourage large-scale public work programs, or similar to the America's New Deal, in order for people to once again find work and get the economy going once again. This seems way better. But I think because I want to go communist, we're going to do public work projects. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, we need Mountaineers. We don't even have any of those. Can we do anything here, maybe? Uh, welcome back, Oscar. Mechanical computing, radio, yes, yes. There you go. Emotional confidence against Alessandri. The winds of change. Is it possible for you to help support this group here? I don't know, we can try it. Of course, Ejercito de Chile. Though they are nothing to scoff at, our armed forces are still much weaker than desired. Arming the soldiers with more than modern weapons as well as training them to be ready for combat any time is essential. Remove Republican Guard. Oh. You get a military factor though. And daily army XP game. I can't see what happens when we do that one though. I have no idea. Very interested though. Do that, do that, that'd be nice. Well, you know what? We're gonna save just in case, because I have no idea. I've not tried this off screen. I have no idea what ha happens. I'm just here for a good time with uh, General Escudero Oscar Otara Oya. Nothing like good old fighting in the Spanish mainland. The winds of change. After countrywide criticism, Arturo Alessandri has stepped down and called for a snap election. At the time, it seems that people, it seems the winds of change are blowing in favor of the left wing, as people flock around the voting booths. Who will lead and how will this event shape the new republic? Ooh. Leon de Tarapaca. Elias Laferta Gavigno shall lead the new republic. A left wing president takes power. Partido Comunista. Ooh, more political power. I like that. And daily democracy and common support. Complete election. Uh, complete focus, Eleccion Presidencial de Chile de 1938. This guy becomes a worker's president. More stability, production efficiency cap, better compliance, and common support. It's like a new commander in chief of the army. You can become communist with this focus, increase presidential, presidential powers. Yeah, so, do this left side here. Oh. Work towards laissez fair? Probably not. This is probably what we're going to do. Pedro Aguirre said is the people's favorite. Front de Populaire. You will not become be able to come communist to this route. I'm glad that it told us that. Oh. oh, so this is already completed. This is auto-completed, so. Uh, yeah, this makes more sense. Establish Cortful. We should attempt to establish an organization that can be responsible for industrial development, resource distribution, and reconstruction efforts. It can be called Cooperación de Fomento de la uh, Producción de Chile. Selecting a new commander-in-chief. There are many uh, men in our army who are willing to take up the mantle and responsibility to lead, and there are also many who are already willing to fight uh, to the last breath for our country. Um, both due to having a new president, we need now elect a successor to Oscar no Nova Fuentes, who has held the position for almost five years to this point. Who will lead our armies as a number one commander? Carlos Fuentes Oraba? Oh, the guy we're currently using. Yeah, the guy we're currently using here. That wouldn't be bad. 
Guillermo Barrios Tirado, Alfredo, or Portales Morgues, Alfredo, like this house. Um, we'll see. Carlos Fuentes Rab, he's pretty good, I like him. Um, we're already using this guy, so I don't really want to use him. Guillermo is also a, a Hills fighter instead, or Alfredo. Humberto, a militia officer, that's not bad. Where is Alfredo? Uh, winter attrition? Honestly, it really doesn't matter too much. We'll go with Alfredo, because I like pasta. That's how we decide things here. So now we're by Elias Laferto Gavino. Oh. Brazil enters a state of emergency, huh? I'll just do that one next. Start slowly gaining way more army XP. Um, I'm just going to keep going with uh, probably superior firepower. He has a pretty good one overall. Um, privatized national industries? Nope. Low cost housing. There are many in our country who are either displaced or poor, and we should do our utmost to support these unfortunate souls who are still people of our nation. Therefore, uh, we should establish national housing organizations, as well as make a government policy to construct social nets that can catch any unfortunate to fall, enough to fall. Lower the effects of near anarchic society. Remove near anarchic society, which is great. Lessons of Mapuche conflict. Hey, that's awesome. Strengthen the Institut Nacional. Yeah, we need that research slot. Though founded as early on as a Patria Vieja, the Instituto. National now should be expanded and strengthened to ensure that the people of our nation can read that which they need and that we can progress at a rate which is beneficial to us. And universal suffrage. Ooh, that wouldn't be bad either. Elena Cafanera. Eh. Ooh, Maria de la Cruz. More political power and recruitable population, but you lose stability. It's not bad. Mar Marta Vergara is not bad either. Investigation Police of Chile. The investigation splits of Chile were found in 1933 as one of the two Chilean police bodies, along with the law enforcement police, the Cabineros de Chile. The investigative police divides its investigation areas according uh, to the crime investigated, counting it with several specialized units of police investigation, which have detective specialists. Oh. Well. Alright. I don't necessarily want a lot, but we need some. Militia's not terrible. It's, uh, honestly, uh, okay, maybe, maybe militia is terrible. I hate militia. Um, I'm going to go with one of these and one infantry. It's South America. What do you expect from me, man? I wouldn't mind improving working conditions, but still. Oh, old guard. Oh, this guy. Oh, but there's this guy, too. Current ruling party is communist. Well, we're trying to get there. Alright, so the Spanish Commune. I'm trying to help you out, y'all. What am I improve working conditions? Anti fascist raids? Make it lower weekly fascist support. It's not really going up very much. Commune support is going up quite a bit, though, which is pretty nice. Um, nice. Oh, we got quite a few little industrial concerns here. I like this. Plus 30% max factories in the state. That's not bad. Interesting. Single control bank. Holy crap. Minus 25%. That's not bad, too. That's pretty good, actually. I really wouldn't mind this guy, though. The Mapuche are willing to cooperate with the communists. I need more political power to do that. But you're here. Welcome back to Spain. So we're here. Um, What would be the best route for us? Perhaps to take Malangueno? No, not Malangueno. Melaga? Uh, just do what you need to do first. That's fine. Go ahead. No fuel, but what else is new? Oh, what does this one do? Less political power, less slightly more fascism. Not great, but whatever. Can you win here? You're getting shelled from the sea, which is nice. More coordination, yes. Alright, so let's... Can we get more communism? Face liquor. Oh, no! We can only get the face liquor. Oh, no! Oh, well. Wow, we got quite a few guys here, don't we? Oh, I love the guys. Militant communist. That's what we need. So let's just ride up. But I'm not sure if we really need it. I'm here for put PP. Uh, reformist. Weekly manpower plus 50. That's different. Salvatore Alanda. Hmm? Socialist economist. More political power. Lose factory output, but more stability. Um, daily democracy support. Transport minister. Political power. Daily democracy support. Yeah. Ideology drift fence would get hurt us about that. More of could probably be nice. But I don't know what's going to happen, though. Do we need, like, a certain amount of uh, political power? Does it really matter for us? 
how much we actually have here for terms of political power or maybe not I'm gonna risk it and this is probably bad um, let's save it first but I, I just I want that PP PP is power so now this gets hurt even more but we get 1.57 every day which is pretty nice force some defense huh look at that look at that nice good stuff good stuff There you go. Hey. Up now. Classic. Classic. Classic instruments. Have fun. Ooh, ooh, logistics wizard and offensive insulter. Yes, please. Construction. Happy 1937, everybody. We want more output. Right now we're missing quite a few guns. Can we buy a couple guns? 300... 600? Oh, they don't like us. That sucks. Can we buy stuff from you? Nice. How about y'all like move? Carlos Uprising, that's good. Good to see. Go, horse boys. Alicante. Saving, yes. So far, we're doing okay. Where are you going? I like the low cost housing. And strengthen the Institut Nacional. So, now what? Popular fascism. Within so many days. Well, approach foreign fascist movements, well, they won't get there that time. So, the Seguero Obrero Massacre, huh? Good. Let's see what happens when you get in there. Oh, hello! Guys are supporting the wrong faction. Huh. Let's see what we come up with. As we're all killing each other here. It's good for our XP though. And good for uh, this guy to learn some stuff. Hey, look at that. And we're there. Ooh. Oh, you're actually attacking the communists too, huh? Spanish commune in Spain. Well, we'll see. A little Entente reaffirmed, huh? In Higinio Moringo takes power in Paraguay. Oh. Mexico's killing itself. Second Cristiada. Very nice. Martial mode wouldn't be bad, but I think up next. I don't know if we really need these guys, so. I guess I just want to get uh, this guy. But then again, we have to wait to be communist. So, we can't do that yet. Um, what do we have here? Anything special? Land doctrine? I like the ground attack and better air doctrine. That's pretty nice. Grand battle plan, huh? Just shove them all under somebody right now. It's fine, whatever. I'm having more fun in South America anyway, or here in, in uh, this place. Anyways, whatever. Yeah. Yay! And next, universal suffrage. Increase presidential powers. Hey, that would become communist immediately and get more political power. The president's the only one who need to leave the country. As a strong man, it's better to have a fractured and the weak parliament. The president is a parliament, and there's no need for their political participation. Exactly. Hey, if they reach yourself, finally, think of it. King Zog submits. Um, I'm gonna wait. Uh, I wanna wait for stability. Eh, go and do it anyways. Can you come here? Now, can you do this? Oh, Poland is nice and ugly green. Oh, the Rava Banovia is here too. Interesting, interesting. All right, increase presidential powers. The chief of the Air Force, old guard. Maximum air power increase. Experience gain out operations. Okay, why not? 
Nice. In the future of Chile, Santiago Conference. Can we, like, prevent that from happening? The Communist Party must convene, with the purpose of just setting the path they're taking in the coming years. Seeing as the current Big Ten coalition is not able to entirely agree on all points, it currently stands between the Marxist Elias Laferta Gavino, the socialist Marmaduke Grovalejo, and the Stalinist Carlos Contreras Labarca, and the Trotskyite Manuel Hidalgo Plaza. My god, Communists, you're all killing each other here. It's a dictator, too. Hey, over two PP a day? I love it. Yeah, no PP, not good The United States is attempting to isolate Chile. American diplomats left their embassy in Santiago today after issuing a stern declaration from the government. <clears throat> they say that they will no longer come to our age or we find ourselves in conflict with other nations, and they do not accept us as a legitimate government of the nation. Furthermore, they've enacted an embargo against us in an attempt to weaken our economy. Well, it's obvious that the U.S. would be hostile to our regime. But Sweden is enforced when its other actions have come as a shock to many. Arrogant imperialists. Good. They're very good defenders. I'll put them in here. You guys are actually relatively strong-ish. So now, with that in mind, we can grab Mr. Offense. Yes! That makes us better, better and stronger. Can you go here? Yes, hopefully. All I care about is making the important to defeating these divisions and then helping out the support in the center. It's actually really fun. Of course, we need more manpower too, but whatever. Uh, how about you don't all like take those, run away from those tiles? Like, bros? Come on. Hello? Anything here, neighbor reformer? That'd be good to get too. Now, you know what? You can help support the attack anyway, so might as well. We won the election fairly, right? Oh, there was an election? Yeah. yeah, I think so. We were fair, yeah. Totally fair. Nice. I'm not sure why they want to just continually leave. I honestly don't care, though. Oh, the Santiago Conference. The Communist Party today is convened with the sole purpose of deciding the path that the country must take in the coming years. As well as elect the person who will help lead the country towards progress, seeing as the current Big Ten Coalition is not able to entirely agree on all points, and needs someone to take action and provide guidance. It currently stands between the Marx Elias Loferto Gavino, Socialist Marmaduke Grove Vallejo, the Stalinist Carlos Contreras La Barca, and the Trotskyat Manuel Hidalgo Plaza. Well, we'll get you either one of this. It's not bad. Just by World Goal 7 goes down by 50%. It's actually pretty good. Or align with the Soviet Union. More war sport. Strike down South American fascism. Or just go with them anyways. Or sponsor American revolutionaries. To sponsor ideological rallies in other South American and North American countries. To boost resistance in colonial states. They become more communist. I like this one because you get more just for Rogel's time. Um, so right now we have our guy, current guy. Political power and stability, which is great. Or we get this guy, get Easter I Island Socialist, more political power, more daily compliance, or uh, more, hold on. He's a workers president, which is already pretty good. Compliance growth speed, and what well, we got there. Um, I go with this person, Roland Mero Reyes, someone else. Carlos Labarca, Staunch Stalin, it's not worth it. Honestly, we got someone I really think is best. I think that's just best for us. Um, we could do stuff here now, but it's not really necessary for us to. And we could go to war faster. I went to all communist nations south and Central America demanding they submit to us. I like that a lot, and I want to do that. But develop inwards, kickstart the arsenal of democracy. What is all this stuff? D internal development. Oh. Work to counter Operation Bolivar. That's not bad. Our attempt to maintain neutrality or support the democracies. Well, we're locked out of this stuff, so. Uh, align the Marxists. Ooh. Well, that'd be good. Universal suffrage. Well, I do want to go to war quickly. Support for the international revolution. There are many out there who have, fight to, have to fight against not only foreign nations that are invading their homes, but also corrupt governments and industries taking their livelihoods. We must do all we can to make sure that the people of the world can feel safe and protected from evil. Because I do want to go to war fast as well ourselves, too. Oh, they're becoming very strong. Oh, look at all the people we've got, too. Yay. 
Uh, so we got that done. Because this person just gives us a crap ton of political power. Which I love. Communist. Communist. Weekly manpower? It's only 50. It's not very much. It's not bad. Political power, too. Democracy. Max factories in the state. That's pretty good, too. This guy's a jack of all trades. Minister of Lands and Colonization. I kind of want to go with this guy. Uh, got two weekly manpower. It's not bad. And I'm going to jump to a partial mobile after this. Uh, I'd rather support the center here. Let's see what we can do here. Of course, we're going to have a civil war soon, too, anyway, so whatever. Well, if you don't want to move, I guess we'll go here then. Fifty extra manpower is not a lot, but it is something. Um, that's pretty good to get two civvies, civvies. I like that a lot. The capitalists still left in a country must be sweating bullets as they realize what our next steps will be. We must confiscate any and all property they own and distribute it out to the people, which I like. But Fuerza area de Chile. Many theorists would argue that the area we currently are falling behind in most is the development of a modern air force. Therefore, we must work hard to remedy this by constructing new hangar and facilities as well as training additional pilots. Would be great. I would also like some field hospitals too. Oh, uh, we might be at war soon, so maybe we'll wait for this one. Because um, we will have that civil war. Let's wait till I have the civil war first. It's only 24 days anyway, so. Go and grab that guy. There you go. Nice. No, that's for those guys too. Ideological loyalty. You know, someone. We, you know, this is very good for us. 500, 500 weekly manpower? We're on the manpower train right now, so we might as well. Support ourselves with a lot of artillery. Lots of artillery. Tons of artillery. Things are bigger and stronger, you know? You hold. You be a primary point of defense. Um, help them out until we have to our uh, in a coup. And a massacre. An unfortunate massacre. The National Socialist Movement of Chile has attempted a coup d'etat, but to no avail, uh, Carabineros have put down their insurrection with limited casualties stemming from a shootout standoff outside the occupied University of Chile. Oscar Novoa Puentes and Humberto Arriagada Valdivieso commanded our forces during the battle and will be rewarded adequately. They shouldn't bother us again. Oh! So right now, what are they called? MNS. Movimiento Nacional Socialista. Huh. We lose some stability, but more political power. Oh. oh. Okay, so we didn't even have a coup. That's fantastic. Armada de Chile. While our fleet has long been proud tradition, the Navy's prestige was badly damaged by the mutiny in 1931. By investing in the Armada de Chile, we can help rebuild our public confidence in the Navy. Okay, so we don't even have a civil war. That's awesome. Great. Hey, at least we can still do this. That's good. Build, 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 build. My god, build more. Bulgaria approaches the UK. Well, alright. Good. We really like it. Very nice. Construction 2. Uh, we're going to help go right here. Um, it's 1938. Uh, better artillery would be nice. We're already in the field as we're supporting our soldiers more. Artillery is still looking very good. Um, that 500 weekly map are though. We need to raise conscription level. Um, how about you guys go here? See what you can do. Let them fight each other right now. Why don't you just stay there? Stay there. Yeah. You go back, you ding dong. Look at that. Now we made made an encirclement. That's worth it. That's an encirclement right there too. Please, we're trying to help you, AI. We are trying to help you. Help us, help you. Nice. Um, you know what? Screw we'll do flame being. I was like, oh come on. Oh, actually, this is not an encirclement because these guys are all cut off, which is fine with us. It's fine. Oh, look at Scarlet Spain. Oh, God, the fascists are winning very well. Not ideal. Here, hold. You're probably going to lose that tile. 
Armado de Chile, good. Uh, yeah. Good. Communist fighting communist. What do you expect? Let's go in. Looking pretty good overall. Uh, we'll go grab the Banco de Chile. 25%. It's just fantastic. Nice. Is there anything else we can grab here? We didn't look at this yet. Artillery, that's fantastic. Cavalry. Plus 12% of division recovery. It's actually pretty strong. I like that a lot. But we're going to grab this guy. Build, 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 build. Let's name the game right now. Just build the crap out of everything. Other guns. We need some motorized as well. The fascists are doing so well. My god. Oh, we're down here too. Look at that. I didn't even realize that. Hey, he's he became level. Uh oh, there goes Spain. Wow, one hell of an encirclement tactic by these guys. Jesus, I'm actually kind of like impressed. Holy cow! But we gotta keep going on. Uh, let's see, is in faction. What do we not? Oh, joint tech sharing group. Anschluss of Austria. Well, sponsor American revolutionaries. There are many people who have the potential to succeed with the revolution if they try, who don't have the funds, though, or weapons to make the means meet the ends. Therefore, we should make sure to sponsor such revolutionaries and kick capitalism out of South America. Yeah, pretty much. Want that artillery guy, though. Oh, hello. You know what? They're going to lose anyways. Just don't. Just let them take Cordoba. It's fine. It is what it is. How many divisions do we got? Four? It's not enough. That's really actually not enough. So right now we gotta buy more guns. Yeah, there you go. Launch is victory. Unfortunate. That's because the commies were on the wrong part, side of the war. Fighting for the Soviet Union. More. It's fine. Just go and do it anyways. Well, we did what we could. Oh, they're split into two. Okay, whatever. Uh, yep, motorized. Production efficiency gain. Uh, is China fighting yet? No. And our artillery is good. We're going to need mountaineers, which is good. Yeah. Uh, one, two, five, five, six. Encore manpower, political power gain, daily democracy support. Don't have a big reason to get more uh, political power, I guess, at this point. I did say I want to raise conscription level, though. Well, how do we get down here now? Which all the mainland states? Oh my god, mainland states? Oh jeez, that's going to be tough. Well, any country here for revolutionaries. Ideological drift defense. Argentine Republic, they're democratic. Well, we do have claim states against them. Enact universal suffrage. The right to vote is on the basis of any democratic society, and it's a great shame that not all in a country can vote with the same rights as another. We just try for equality and grant the women of Chile the opportunity to vote as soon as possible, or just hold Spanish refugees. Our brothers in Spain have fought their friends and families and are shattered spiritually. Now, with the civil war being over, and many seek to flee the current regime, and as a Spanish brother, we are a prime candidate to take in refugees. Yeah, why not? You know what, you can handle all the cavalry. There you go. Eventually we're going to combine them to motorized probably eventually, but whatever. We'll see. New prison in Uruguay, huh? We're going to go to the war with them, or would Bolivia would be better? Of course, we don't have any Mountaineers yet, do we? We don't have the Division Template. We can make it, but we just don't have the Army XP for them, really. That'd be nice. Um, Special Forces Cap. Eventually, if we go down this route, it makes them cheaper to use Mountaineers. To edit them. Yeah, down here, but that takes a lot. I'm going to elevate the Mountaineers anyways. Enables those revolutionary... Chilean agents will carry out missions of armed and large revolutionary forces and to satisfy groups of the Argentine Republic, helping grow communes among the Argentinian masses and destabilize their state. So 
It's going down a little bit. Not good. How many divisions do they have? 10 and 23. Infantry equipment is nice. Uh, engineers, equipment, all that stuff. Yeah, we're going to need recon eventually. Research speed. We have only eight divisions, which is not ideal. Definitely going to need more. Add one more. I need more guns. Good. How are we doing here? Get a plan or two? Just straight up need more divisions. Tons of guys, tons of guns. Oh, good launch revolution. Oh, and becomes a puppet of us. Oh, that's different. Size of the civil war would depend on the scale of the economy's activities and ideology. Ooh. Is this going up? It's kind of stuck there. You guys are what? 8% exactly. What if we did Peru? Peru, Peru, Peru. Now we need that political power for a reason. Oh crap, do not bend that guards. Governor Oversight. We only have 10 divisions, which would be a terrible thing if we uh, went to war right now. So that's why we're going to rush through as much as we possibly can. We need way more guns. Buy even more guns. More. They will not accept us, no. Um, so Union, maybe? Give us all your guns. Gonna take no manpower as well. I'm trying to mobilize more. We'll see. Oh, we, oh, we can just straight up launch it already. Oh. From ideological rallies in the. Oh. From a communist of the Argentine country. Oh, we could try that. Colonial states where resistance could be supported. Oh. 30 days. We lose command power. For a year. Ooh. I like that. We can launch in Peru. Let's do Argentina then, too. That sounds like fun. The more support they have. Oh, we're gonna need now. We're gonna need a lot of political power. I see where we're gonna need it. 0.52. It's still going down. What the heck? You bunch of democracy suckers. Um, proposed class co closer cooperation. Uh, the communist states in our surrounding may share ideology, but they are scattered strategically and have no coordination. We should bring them under our wings and help guide them better. Get them into all communist nations in South and Central America. Demand that they submit to us. Ooh, who's communist here? Research international market, trade, production, recruit, apply. Not aligned, democratic, Panama, fascist. Oh, you guys, oh, well, I mean, technically, we can get Mexico under us, potentially. That'd be awesome. It was a puppet. A Mexican puppet. I kind of like that. I want to kind of try that. We should wait. Investigations of Chile? Yeah, that'd be good to do. So basically, the faster we go to war with these guys, the better. Um, we have the best shot when we launch an invasion. Let's finish this first, because they're losing comm support every day, right? 28%, 0.14, point... Oh, they're losing a lot of comm support. So the longer the wait, the weaker they'll be if we don't uh, rush through that. Range focus, general aircraft designer, yeah. That'd be good. There you go. Oh, hello. Wow, that's a, that's a fat, strong Germany already. Nice. So, let's save it. And let's see what happens.
Three, two, one. Oh, we gotta wait 30 days, okay. And that way we're gonna continue to increase our conscription level too. Peru crosses into Pastaza. Troops belonging to Peru have, as of yesterday started crossing into the region of Napo Pastaza, a state that does not belong to them. After the Pacific War, we have quite recently given up on Tacna and handed back over to Peru as part of the deal, but they do not ex respect international borders, so we don't have to. Um, well, claim gained by Chilean. I mean, technically, eventually, you get cores and everything here. We can pop with them eventually anyways. You know what? We're gonna grab the stability and political power right now. I should do that first. We're in South America. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Subs. Armor grouping is very good. Artillery is very good too. Cavalry's not bad. Dive bomber? That'd probably be the guy we go for. We didn't get any bonus land option. Interesting. Inwards. Well, I want to focus more on military. We did read this one earlier too, so let's do this one as well. Public Works Project. Alright, so what do we got here? We're good on guns. We need. Ooh, artillery's not bad too. Support the general group here. Only 10 divisions still, unfortunately. Army grouping next. Artillery. I like the artillery though. Uh, but we need more political power. As much political power as humanly possible right now at this point. Mm. Lose output, which I don't like. 20% more stability is pretty nice though. Oh yeah, it seems like this guy. Maria de la Cruz. 10% political power. More recruitable population factory. Lose stability, but in all honesty, that's not bad. This isn't bad either. But that extra manpower is going to come in handy. Ooh, weekly stability though. That's nice. But we need the population. Alright, so we've got that going for us. Nice. Now, it's not, that's not very much. But that ain't bad. Honestly, this is not too bad. We get him as a puppet ally and eventually get, eat him up and annex him. I like that idea. Go, 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 go. And that also divided how many divisions they have. Hopefully, as well, I hope. Man. So I'll use horses here. Horses can still be very, very good. Good. Grab that port. Go to Rawson. God dang it, they found us at Rawson. Doesn't matter. Oh, but it does matter now. Go there. Nice. Oh, arm the anti-British resistance in the grounds. That's cool. I like this. DLC is not bad. And also let you know, I, I never got a early access code or anything like that. My access is the same as your access. I got it on the day of. Hello. Not ideal. Very much not ideal. Well, they're really focusing on the south where we're at, which I guess makes a lot of sense, you know. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we're out of guns. What do you expect? Great Chilean earthquake. Whichever before we go into this, please go ahead. We're gonna help the people though. Oh yeah. And then expand military factories. In order to properly arm the military, we must enlarge the weapons industry. Thus, building new industrial facilities is specifically tailored towards production of military equipment is a must. Acromath the Chilean earthquake. Good machine. 
about ready to cut us off, and then we'll cut them off too, maybe. So at least, yeah, this is actually way more difficult than I hoped it would be. Yeah, the south is much more difficult than I expected. Hot board is completely open too, that's not good. Yeah, our divisions are just garbage. They're just straight up garbage, so... Search pattern, spotting speed, destroyers, I and mean, that's good stuff, don't get me wrong, but still. Nice. Expanding military factories is nice. Uh, oh, defending against a number, number of enemy attacks, it's not bad. Uh, expand the armor academy. Having effective weapons is not only the factor that determines the outcome of a battle, another huge factor is the scope of not only the individual soldier, but also that of the general commanding the troops. The richest and we should investigate or invest and expand the operations of the army department of our military academy. Smart. Or support communism, strength of the common soldier, which I think is just better overall. Though equipment is as important as anything else, it's the individual soldier defending the homeland, protecting his core values, and fighting for his loved ones. But it's the real strength of the army. That's why we must give to our fullest to increase the morale of the common soldier and give him the best chance of winning his toughest battles. From propaganda, the world is ablaze, and despite our greatest efforts, not all is well in our civilian population in support of the motion of war. As such, we must form a department dedicated to convincing the people of the benefits of armed international struggle. Expand the forestry? Uh, it's not bad. Uh, that's not bad. Impose new taxes. Our coffers have run thin after many efforts to restore the country to its former state and help alleviate this. A good plan would be to impose new income taxes to our population. We may not like them at first, but give it some time, they'll quiet down with us having a lot more money to spend. Encourage bond purchases. Memories of the recent economic crash have left our people very afraid of investing their money, holding back economic growth. By encouraging our people to purchase government issued bonds with the promise of starting the money or reinvesting the money back into the country, we can build a stronger Chilean socialist republic more quickly. Ooh, it's not bad. Though maybe on a pop and rule among the indigenous Mapuche, the region of Aranconcia is rich in all manners of natural resources, with those one of those being its lakes and waterfalls. We could utilize this to construct hydroelectric stations, though it might upset the region's inhabitants, and work on the Pan American Highway. Ooh. During the various Pan American conferences held in recent years, we have agreed to cooperate with our brothers in North and South America to help finally connect the two American continents and fulfill this Pan American Highway project. But I think one of the we're gonna struggle a little bit more with the Argentine Republic. It is what it is. Um, they just have a ridiculous amount of divisions, even though these guys have only five, which is kind of stupid, in my opinion, but you know, whatever. However, if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as, uh, we'll see what else we can do with good old Chile. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.